Okay, let's do this thing. So, I'll just gibber away to myself for a minute while we're all getting together. Uh, so this is the wee live stream where I want to showcase some needle felted artists because I know actually quite a few of my subscribers on here don't even know that that much about needle felting. They're here for their Etsy business, but I think it would be awesome to see some of the wonderful needle felters that are about. Okay, so let's do this. Thing. So. Firstly, I have to shut off the volume on things, <laughs> but that shows the lag there. Yeah, I'm just learning about this, so sorry about that. Um, okay, so if you've clicked onto this from my Ben McFuzzy Lugs Facebook page, um, if you're just running it from actually the Facebook page and you want to chat to me, if you click actually on the link, what I'm showing you here, I hope, um, if you click on this, this will bring up the YouTube page, which gives you the chat window, which I've got at the right hand side here. So if anyone posts anything like I'm just about to, then I can actually see you live. So if there's anybody's work that you particularly like, you want to comment on anything, you want to just say hello, then if you go to the YouTube, then you can chat live with us all while we're looking at everybody's work. So I'm going to start. Obviously, this is my page. I'm Ben McFuzzy Lugs here on YouTube and also on Facebook. Hopefully you all already know that. Oh, we've got Marina in. Hi there. Good to see you. So here is me. If you haven't already followed me, feel free to give me a like and have a look. I am a bit of a mishmash here with links to keep you updated of my latest needle felting videos and my Etsy videos and my, re my review videos and also we have got photographs of my work. I think I'm probably a bit lazier than I should be with with putting up what I've been working on but you get to see some extra things that you're not seeing in my videos. Uh, there's photo shoots of some of my latest animals, um, updates of things that are going to be coming up, pictures when I'm making something, my dragon as he was going ahead, just sneak peeks of what's coming along. So hopefully that's that's another pretty cool way for everyone to keep in touch with me. And also, so what I'm going to be doing now, hopefully, is giving you all the chance. I'd like to showcase you guys So every now and again when I put up a thread like this, if you want to post and then I'm about to look at and review, well not review, we can all look at and support each other and get to see different needle felting artists. So I want to start with, the, from the people that have, have commented on my thread today and um, showcasing their work and everything, most of you will come from the Needle Felting UK page. Now I'm not going to scroll down this because it's a closed group so I want to keep our, our personal pictures safe um, but it's a fantastic group it's um, run by Sarah Brown and it's such a supportive wonderful group so if you're a needle felter at all I'd say totally get yourself into that group it's fantastic um, she lets us talk about anything to do with needle felting uh, there's no restrictions if buying and selling on there all sorts of things are possible but it's fantastic that it's kept on topic there's not a load of spam if you've got questions you need help with how to do things there's always people there to help you out so absolutely start with the needle felting uk facebook group that's the first way to go first place to go but our first wee person that we want to look at is of course sarah Bat brown's page um her Felting with nature. I hope I'm getting everyone in the right order here. Um, I think, I think so. Hang on. Go back to to where I put the thread. See, when things are live, it's so much harder to find things. It takes a takes a minute or two. So here's the thread where I asked everyone to to show their work, and obviously Sarah was the first. Yes, she is of course felting with nature. So if you want to pop along, the links are in the comments below on this YouTube video. They're also on my Facebook page, page where Sarah's put them up herself. So this is Felting with Nature on Facebook. 
um, fantastic this is. It's a little community in, I assume, I assume this is in the Cotswolds, Wishelly Willows. I don't know, but it looks looks beautiful and exciting. Um, oh, Marina's got to find some speakers. Oh, sorry, is is the sound okay? I obviously I can't hear myself. I need to find some speakers as well. Um, sorry, I hope the sound's coming through okay. Have we got we've got five people in here, which is coming on for a record with one of my live streams. So thank you all for watching me. Um, but yes, we were at Sarah's Felting with Nature page. So it looks like there's some fantastic um, videos. <laughs> I'm not going to watch that just now. And we've got some events of pumpkin felting workshops. That looks super cute and super fun. And some fibres and everything. If we have a quick look into her photos or their photos. Ah. Uh, Marina thinks it's her speakers. Okay, well, I hope you can get <laughs> you can get that sorted out. I can't hear if I'm sounding okay until this comes back in the replay. So I really hope I'm not sitting here for 20 minutes talking and no one can hear me. <laughs> so let's have a nosy at felting with nature's pictures. There is penguins. I'm quite in love with penguins myself. Really random, but... I just got um, some some more people commenting on my YouTube videos that are actually doing work with penguins themselves. There's a nail artist um, who's painted penguins on her nails, which looks so cute. I don't think my nails are quite long enough for that yet, but it looks adorable. Um, pictures of workshops. I would love to be involved in a felting workshop. Never had the chance yet. There's not that many needle felters up around me. But who knows, hopefully one day I can actually meet some of the other felters. <gasps> toadstools. I am so planning to make like mushrooms and toadstools and pumpkins and all sorts of things. Now it's Halloween, well, autumn or fall, wherever you are in the world. Um, so are you guys seeing anything that you like the look of? Look at these bees. I remember watching Sarah making this this big bee before he got his wings on and everything. I think this is awesome. And some deer. Oh, look at those penguins. That's a bucket full of happy penguins. That is fantastic. And this looks like, for anyone who's interested in needle felting, again, some step-by-step -step pictures. It's always good to see where the things start from. Sleepy animals. I'm not I've not actually made any sleepy animals yet, but there's some really good tutorials out there on sleepy animals, and they are so cute. Giant strawberries and gnomes with strawberry hats on. I think that is such a fun idea. So I would totally say everyone get over there and support felting with nature. Sorry, I shouldn't scroll like that. It will make you all feel sick. Um, get over and support felting with nature. Sarah is wonderful and really supportive and the Needle Felting UK group is again absolutely fantastic. So let's have a wee look at our second shop. This is Feltology. I think I remember. Yes, this is this is Linda. Um, Linda was in one of my last live chats, I believe, one of the, the few <laughs> the few people because I'm still learning with this live thing. So if it's terrible, I apologize. But here is Feltology by Linda. And if we have a quick nosy at her photographs, it looks in her banner here, quite a lot of beautiful 2D felt paintings. As you see, this is just something that I've just started with doing the 2D felt paintings, but I'm in love with this stuff. The shading in that dog is amazing. Oh, and looks like some hedgehogs. I have been tempted to get hold of some of this hedgehog mohair fabric that everyone's been using and have a wee go at making a hedgehog. Also, I did make the pom-pom hedgehog. I think he turned out quite well. So what have we got here? Bumblebee soap. If you haven't tried needle felted soap, it's actually quite fun. Um, needle felted, wet felted, it's a combination of two because obviously there's there's water going to be involved there. It's quite fun and it makes something really really unique for say your guest bathroom but it's also useful because you've got a cloth and soap all in one then. 
So have a look at Feltology by Linda and there's some step-by-step -step photos of her making her felt soap. I think this is some pebbles because everyone's making the needle felted pebble rugs. I'm going to have to try this at some point. The hedgehogs are adorable and this looks like some kind of jellyfishes. That is so much fun. I'm quite in love with that. Uh, so anybody seeing anything fun here? I think this, this whole page is just so bright and colourful. The step by step of the 2D cats, that is such a cute cat, but amazingly difficult to have to needle felt. I can't even imagine how you would go about it. It is so adorable. So great job by the looks of it so far there. And here's the hedgehog mohair. I think that's the hedgehog mohair. Is that the hedgehog mohair? The mohair. Could someone let me know if that's that's what that is? But it is beautiful. If it's not, if it's some kind of method that I don't know about. Please let me know because I would love to be able to make something like that. Oh, these sheep in multiple colours. That is so cute. And there's the dog. And camper vans. Multicoloured UV camper vans. That is so cute. That would look absolutely fabulous anywhere. It just brightens up the place, doesn't it? Some more dog portraits. They're fab. Oh, and some heads. <laughs> I was trying to think of something nice to, to call them, what sort of head portraits, but they're great fun. And pugs. I've tried over the years to make pugs. I've never tried a 2D pug, but the 3D ones, it is so difficult to get them cute. There's so many wrinkles, which can be a welfare issue for the pugs themselves, but it is a massive challenge for a needle felter as well. Okay, then we've got two pages by Natalie. I would say that's greedy, but it's not. I'm only kidding. Um, great to great to see her work. I love her horses, which we will see more of in a little while. But let's jump into the photos here. This is a fantastic work of the mounted horse sculptures here. I absolutely adore that horse. That is, I've seen him more in some other places and he's adorable so well felted and just the movement there you can just see he's giving his back a good good scratch um so i didn't say this is natalie brooks artist on facebook get over there and give her a like uh these these sculptures are a class above anything i can do just the the movement in the horses it's beautiful so all horse lovers, get over and see her. They are fantastic. And looks like some sketches as well. A very talented lady, I would say. Uh, owls, beautiful felted owls and owl drawings. I am in love with this work. And a 2D painting. See, we're all at the 2D paintings. <laughs> but Some more horses. That is beautiful, the movement. Just the getting down, scratching with his feet or different angles of this horse rolling and some cute Shetland ponies is that I think sorry I'm just like trying not to drop my jaw this is why I love needle felting is because we can all make the same thing and it just looks totally different um I would love mine to look more realistic sadly they're quite cartoony but Natalie seems to have got realism down to a T and character as well. These are fantastic, just the movement in them. I really need to up my game. And some dogs as well, but mainly horses so far. These are fab. I'm actually going to come back and have a much longer look here. I don't know how I missed this page before. But then we're going to pop over to Roly Poly Ponies. I have definitely seen <laughs> seen these before and I think they're fantastic. This is also by Natalie at Roly Poly Ponies on Facebook. And oh and thank you very much. She's linked to <laughs> linked to this live stream, which thank you so much. It's a good way hopefully to get us all out there so we can meet different artists and just learn more about needle felting because there's so much you can do. And I am in love with these Halloween ponies. This this is so clever and wrapped up for, as a mummy for Halloween. I love his outfit. I love his expression. Just the way he's sitting there and looking up. And yep, 
that just makes me laugh. And the colours are great too. I wouldn't have thought of a blue horse, a blue pony dressed as a mummy. A green Frankenstein pony. This is so much fun. He is adorable. A purple witch <laughs> pony. I, I've i seen Rolly Poly ponies. I haven't seen the Halloween collection yet. I'm so jealous. I really wanted to get onto Halloween sculptures, but I haven't had the chance yet. He is lovely. And this is something I've always wanted to do. Skeleton type pony but well skeleton felt but this skeleton pony is so perfect that is so cute fantastic work there Nat natalie a pumpkin pony i don't know how your mind works but it's fantastic he is brilliant and i love the little bat wings and the pumpkins on his bum <laughs> fab let's make it quicker and pop onto the photos now which are fantastic and i'm loving this is something i'm going to get onto with the etc sellers videos but is having having branding having themes so for the roly poly ponies is fantastic is it's the style like if i see any of these that i've never seen one before if I've, if, if there's a new one that i've never seen before i'm still going to know it's a roly poly pony because of her style and also her photography style. Um, each one of these, the ponies shot against a colourful background or a black background. Um, so the photography is all similar, the style similar. So I know this is all roly poly ponies, even if I haven't seen that particular item. So branding can be so important for people to know. I was going to look off there to a camera. The camera's right there, sorry. Scanning through some more of the work. I, I really don't know what to say. They are just adorable. It's it's the character. Some sitting outside, but mainly against the color black background. I love their expression and just the way they are sitting there like little lumps. Oh, it's a little angelic. I don't think it's quite a unicorn. Oh, that's stupid. There's an there's a unicorn straight afterwards with a beautiful multicolored mane. These are great fun. That was so much fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back to this review page. And I'm just going to just now like up everybody that we've refu reviewed. And if you want, well it's not even a review. I'm not reviewing. I'm just fanboying. If you want at any point to have have me have a look live on air at your page then stick the link in that comment below and i know which ones i've got to and which ones i've not but thank you so much for joining me that was a whole lot of fun don't forget give all these pages a wee look at give them a like if you like them and i don't see why you wouldn't they're putting me to shame that's fantastic work um but yeah thank you so much for joining me and I will get up another live stream soon, hopefully.